Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Well, I've got good news and bad news. First of all, I went to the Dollar Tree and I did go over my budget. The good news is I paid cash. And some more good news is I've decided that I will not be going to the Dollar Tree in the month of October because I did purchase so much. I'm going to show you what I bought at the Dollar Tree and what the purpose is of what I purchased. I have only been using my cash envelope system in the month of September. So that's really positive. And so far, I'm staying under our grocery budget because we're using a calculator. So in a few moments here, I am going to show you what I purchased and why I purchased it at the Dollar Tree. But due to me spending more, I am going to take a month off in October and not go to the Dollar Tree. So stay tuned. Okay, you're probably wondering, what on earth money, Mom? You guys know I meal prep. Well, one of the things that I'm working on is something called portion control. Well, this, I think, is going to help with that. And I bought a bunch of containers. I probably did not need to purchase these, and I do have a space for them. Hopefully, they will fit in that space. But I am going to, when I prepare anything, casseroles, a meal, I'm going to portion them all, breakfast, lunches, and dinners, in these. That way, it's a portion-controlled container, like I mentioned. And so here's an example like of a picture on the outside of everything in a container. I thought that these could really help. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And I wanted to share some other things I got. I did get a calculator, a small one, so that we always have it with us. Yes, I can use my phone, but honestly, I find the calculators are easier to use. We do have some outdoor kitties that sometimes come in. And so I did get a couple little cat bowls. I got a couple night lights that we can keep on. I did get an extra phone book because mine is, I've scratched things out, I've whited things out, so I got an extra phone book. And I usually redo my phone book like once every couple years because there's so many changes. I got some labels so that I could label these containers with the food. I got an extra pair of scissors because it seems like, we're, you know what, you can always use an extra pair of scissors. I got one of these little chopper scrapers because I'm going to use it for different activities such as I'm learning to make sourdough bread and I just watched some videos on a sourdough starter so I thought about that and I can use it for all sorts of things. I did not have one of these. I got some hangers because we are some of our hangers broke so I just figured all we need is one package. I did get some bathroom cleaner, some wipes, one package of paper towels, some Reynolds wrap, some scotch tape. Okay. And then also I got a mat back here so that if we have an outdoor kitty come in, we can put a litter box under there and any sand from the litter box will go onto the mat. So this is what I did get. I know I did go a little crazy with these containers. The good news is I did pay cash for everything. I did go over budget. I will tell you that. And because if I decide if I go over budget at the Dollar Tree one month, I just simply will not go that next month. And there's no reason I need to go back there. So this is everything I did buy at the Dollar Tree. They did have some good deals there. But I tell you what, it would be tough to work there because things are just constantly changing. So that's what I got. I'm going to do some videos on some of my meal prep and show you how I use these meal containers. So stay tuned for that. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. If you do shop the Dollar Tree, tell me some things you like to purchase there. That's all for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope you come back for tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.